As one month ends, another begins, and it is time for some brand new cozy games. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Peyton. It is nice to meet you, it is nice to see you, and welcome to The Corner. Let's talk February cozy games. Now, the beginning of the year is always a lot slower for game releases, and it's no secret that a lot of the biggest cozy games are coming out later this year. But in February, we have so many exciting games coming out. So many of them were ones I haven't heard that many people talk about. So I'm excited to share with you in today's video, 10 cozy games that are coming out this February. But before I get into it, please be sure to click the lovely little like button as well as subscribe for more cozy, chaotic content. And if you wanna see me play cozy games live, I actually now not only live stream here on YouTube, but I recently started multi-streaming to Twitch as well. So if you wanna see Cozy Games Live, be sure to check out my live streams either here on YouTube or over on Twitch. Okay, I'll shut up, let's get into it. So the first Cozy Game coming out this month on February 6th is called Clem. Clem is a narrative-driven puzzle adventure game with a dark twist. In the game, you wake up in a world where puzzles intertwine with exploration, weaving a unique narrative rooted in alchemy. The game features a new kind of genre that they're calling a puzzlevania, which intertwines puzzles and exploration. In the game, you'll get to discover hidden secrets in each room as you delve deeper into the mysteries with every magical crafted toy. The game features a unique and beautiful art style with hand-drawn elements, 2D graphics with 3D environmental navigation, and of course, it features challenging and diverse puzzles with an enigmatic story that has a dark turn. I love the style of this game so very much. This is definitely a game that gives you a darker vibe, but it is presented and wrapped up in a cozy fashion. You know I love a puzzle game, and I also love a puzzle game that has narrative. This one seems like it has a little bit of everything. I love how the characters look, and I'm really intrigued by the style of it. The next game on the list is coming out on February 13th, and this game is called News Tower. In News Tower, you'll develop your newspaper and become New York's new media mogul. In this tycoon, you'll get to build and manage your own newspaper from printer to toilet. You'll create your own editorial line and lead your journalists through unique 1930s stories and dig out the latest scoops. You'll get to use your reporters' favorite topics to send them searching for the right news to get it faster, or it might be old news by the time that they return. The more your journalists cover a topic, the more experience they'll get, which will allow you to sharpen your editorial line. You'll get to search for exciting news across the US and the world that matches your readers' interests and editorial line. So pretty much you get the choice to publish either gossip that will satisfy your readers or to always just seek out the hard stories full of truth. This game looks so very interesting to me. I love cozy gaming as a way to dive into worlds I have never been in. And I have never had any experience whatsoever with what it takes to run a newspaper. In fact, I was going to double major in journalism in college. And after one semester, I was like, not for me, not for me. But I think it is really interesting. And I love to see a cozy and kind of chaotic twist on running your own newspaper. I think the 1930s is also a really interesting time period to cover different news stories on. The aesthetic is cute. It looks like such a unique concept and not something I've ever really seen before. The next game on the list is actually a game that has already been out for PC, but it's making its Nintendo Switch debut this month on February 15th. This game is perfect if you love chaos and if you love to cozy game with your friends. This game is called Plate Up. Plate Up combines chaotic kitchen and restaurant management with strategic planning and development to create a delightful roguelite dish unlike any other. With up to four players, you'll get to build and run a restaurant from scratch, getting to choose the dishes, buying and placing appliances, some of which can be daisy chained together to create ambitious automatic kitchens, cooking food, and serving customers. 
In the game, players have free reign to design their restaurant, which they'll expand and develop in between chaotic shifts, with additional content and challenges unlocked through the progression. Not only will you get to serve your customers and upgrade your restaurant, but you'll even be able to start your very own franchise if you want to really expand your business and serve food to the masses. Now, I've actually never played Plate Up before. Oh, that's hard to say. But I've watched so many people play it and stream it, and it is always such a fun, crazy time. I really love multiplayer games like this where you can really get chaotic with your friends, but still work together to actually make something happen. I feel like this is going to have such a great home on the Nintendo Switch, and I feel like so many players will get introduced to this game for the first time, as they should. The next game on the list is coming out on February 16th, and it's called Recolit. Recolit is a pixel art puzzle adventure game where you search for lights in a town where the nighttime never ends. In the game, your spaceship crashes, and you find yourself in a dark town that looks just like any other but it has something different about it. The people go about their daily lives as if nothing is off, even though the sky above their head is always black. In the game, you'll get to help the people around town and slowly uncover the mystery of what's really going on and why the town is like this. Recolit is a game I've heard about for quite some time now. I always see the art style and I'm instantly drawn in. It kind of gives me like children's book, but dark. I love the premise of this city or town that is always nighttime, but everybody's acting totally fine with it and it's completely normal. I think it's intriguing that we're like a little space person and our spaceship is the reason that we get to this place. It seems like a fun, cute narrative adventure game that has a little bit of a dark twist, but still does seem to maintain its overall cozy aesthetic. Now, I don't play favorites on these list videos ever. I've never once played favorites on a list video ever but if I were to pick I would say I am pretty psyched about this game as I have already said this is going to be one of my most anticipated cozy games of the year this next game is coming out on February 21st and it's called Vandal Tale a League of Legends story Vandal Tale a League of Legends story is a crafting RPG set in the whimsical world of Vandal City you play as a shy Yordle living in Yardville, a cozy but isolated island obsessed with all things knitting. When your 101 year long apprenticeship ends, you want nothing more than to see what lies beyond the portals that connect the rest of Vandal City. But when a party you attend goes horribly wrong, the portals collapse and everything is thrown into chaos. With your unique knitting magic and an unflappable spirit, you'll get to enlist the help of adorable new friends, restore the portals, and reunite Bandle City once more. I remember seeing the trailer for this game in a Nintendo Direct that I live reacted to, and I have not shut up about this game since. I think this is genius, okay? We see so many farming sim games, we know like, Farming is cute and cozy, but you know what is so cute and cozy that I don't see in cozy games? Knitting. Um, I feel like this is so smart. I feel like this is such an innovative way to tackle a cozy RPG to center it around knitting and cute little creatures. I'm so in like I care I care about the story I'm interested in the story but just the idea alone of this game is enough to have me ready and on board but I love the vibrant style of the world it really looks interesting you can believe I will be covering this game on the channel so definitely stay tuned for more I'm very excited about this one. The next game on the list is also coming out on February 22nd and this one's going to be debuting in early access this game is called Feed the Cups. Feed the Cups is a roguelite multiplayer online cooperative game. The game features the opportunity to run your own drink shop, stock up and prepare ingredients, take orders, craft drinks, clean up, and check your equipment. You'll get to join your friends together to make your very own drink shop however you like, but you need to be careful as too many mistakes can cause the pressure to skyrocket and 
wrong, things might go south. I've seen Feed the Cups for a while now. It's a very similar style game to Played Up on the list. There's something I really enjoy about the art style of this one. The drinks look so good. It looks like it's going to be complex, but also has some really great opportunities for design and decoration. And it's another great option if you like to play your cozy games with your friends. The next game on the list is coming out on February 22nd, and this game is called Garden Life, a Cozy Simulator. Garden Life, a Cozy Simulator is a relaxing gardening game in which you get to create your dream garden in a peaceful and colorful world. You'll plant and add ornaments at your very own pace, transforming an overgrown, forgotten piece of land into a flourishing garden community. You'll be able to plant and nurture your dream garden using gardening techniques based off of real life gardening techniques, but are adapted for everyone to enjoy. Specifically, you'll get to plant seeds and leave them enough space to thrive, water, fertilize, and clip your plants to enhance their natural beauty and nurture them to health, You'll also get to discover different colorful varieties and unlock the full potential of each plant. You'll also be able to do some weeding and admire your plants in full bloom through the four changing seasons. The game will also give you the opportunity to play along to the story mode, or you can take it easy in the creative mode. This game looks so relaxing. I remember I got to play the demo of this one a few months back, and I did really enjoy how the style of it was, and it was very calming. I think there's something really special about this one being centered around utilizing real life gardening techniques. Because let's be real, I've, I've played lots of games where I'm growing crops and growing plants, but I'm snapping my fingers and things are happening. I really like that this one is going to pay an importance on what it's really like to garden. And for me, as someone who lives in a city, it's not something I regularly get to do in my real life. So it's definitely something I find cozy and interesting when it comes to a potential cozy game. I think this one's gonna be a really great option for those of you looking for a little bit more of a laid back experience, but still love decorating and of course, love nature. The next game on the list is coming out on February 23rd and it's called Promenade. Promenade is a cozy platforming game where you go on an adventure in a world packed with secrets, helped by your little friend with many abilities. The story follows the Great Elevator, which has just been broken and its cogs have been scattered all over the world. So it's your job to explore, solve puzzles, wander across dungeons, blast through races to help repair the elevator. This game may be a 2D platformer, but it is very much so inspired by some of the classic 3D platforming games of the past. Now, I'm usually not the biggest platforming person in the entire world, but I really love the style of this game. It looks absolutely adorable. I love the pastel kind of color palette. It seems like it's going to definitely be cozy and laid back, but I do think the storyline is really cute. And I like that it's not just platforming and that there is a puzzle mechanic as well. To me, that always gives it a little bit more intrigue, but definitely something that's perfect if you really enjoy platforming games, but looking for one that has a cozy feel. The next game on the list is coming out on February 27th, and this game is called Pixel Cross Story of Seasons. Pixel Cross Story of Seasons is a puzzle game that features the iconic characters from the Story of Seasons games. You'll get to enjoy the charm of Story of Seasons while relaxing and exercising your brain with classic logic puzzles. All your favorite villagers and bachelors, bachelorettes, tools, crops, animals, and upgrades from the Story of Seasons game will provide you with countless of hours of puzzling. With 350 puzzles featuring a diverse amount of Story of Seasons mainstays, you'll have a wide amount of puzzling content. Now, I actually was not familiar with Pixel Cross before stumbling across this game, but Pixel Cross makes other Pixel games as well. This one just happens to be a crossover with Story of Seasons, which is of course a very popular farming sim series. I think this game looks really cute. I love puzzle games always. I think they're so sweet, but I think this is gonna be a really fun puzzle game, especially if you already are a fan of Story of Seasons. 350 puzzles is definitely a lot and it seems like there's quite the variety on the types of puzzles that there are in the game. And it looks really interesting if you're a person who likes farming, but also likes puzzles. And the final game on the list is coming out on February 28th, 
And this game is called Minami Lane. Minami Lane is a small, wholesome management game set on a Japanese-inspired street. You'll get to create and manage your own street and pretty much just make sure everyone is happy and watch the villagers live their lives. The game features a short two to four hours of playtime, as well as the ability to create and customize your own street, manage shops by adjusting their inventory, recipes, and prices, the opportunity to play strategically to complete each level's mission objectives, as well as tons of tanukis and cats for those of you who just want to enjoy something cute. Oh my goodness, the style of this game caught me so quickly. I first saw this game, I saw the trailer on Twitter, and it instantly was like, yes, okay, I need to be doing this. There are so many kind of chill building games out there. I will say a lot of them are more farming and garden centric. I think it's really interesting that this is a street with different shops. I love the Japanese influence. It definitely seems like a short but very sweet game and definitely one I will be checking out. And there you guys have it. Those were 10 cozy games coming out in February. I wanna know your thoughts down below. What cozy game are you most excited to check out this month? I wanna know, let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to click the lovely little like button on your way out. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.